Over the last few years, we have developed the design for the project and the project that we're now putting forward to planning is extremely well considered. At every step in the way, we've put environment and people at the forefront. The project was first identified as a potential site for offshore wind development in the late 1990s and then it was developed from that into the early 2000s. It's been a long time coming, but back then several kind of considerations fed into the identification of Codling Bank as a suitable location for offshore wind. For example, key considerations included obviously environmental sensitivities, proximity to grid connection, for example, and also things like water depth. So how constructible is the site as well? Since then, the project has developed further and in the last five years or so, we've conducted thousands of hours of surveys and best-based assessments to better understand the environment that the project is located in to inform the design for the project and also the environmental impact assessment. cable routes, the landfill locations and all the onshore infrastructure has been designed around environmental sensitivities such as archaeological features, benthic habitats, seabed habitats essentially and other kind of sensitive receptors, obviously technical feasibility, current infrastructure, Poolbeg Peninsula is very busy with infrastructure as we know and also land availability. Originally, we were looking to install 440 turbines, but turbine technology has moved on significantly in the last couple of decades. We've gone from 440 turbines down to a maximum of 75, and that is something like an 83% reduction in the number of turbines. So they have become a little bit larger, but significantly fewer. Ultimately, what's determined our cable route is the grid connection location. So we need to export the energy produced by the turbines to an air grid substation so that it can be transported to the end users ultimately. AirGrid confirmed that we would be connecting our wind farm into the existing substation at Goolbeg. So ultimately then allowed us to develop the design for the infrastructure we will need to build at Goolbeg to accommodate this connection. <music>